Hello everyone, I'm Marilee, and I'm back with another butterfly. Today it's going to be a fantasy blue morpho monarch mashup. You may have seen the short that I had done a few weeks ago at this point. I'll tell you about that later. For now, let me tell you about this butterfly. I'm going to start out with the blue wings that I had molded from a mold I made. Um, eventually I'll show you a video on that the next time I do a set. And uh, after that, I did a layer of hypershift colors. Um, this is like a blue to green teal color. It's very pretty. And after that, I start painting on the black markings. And that's just a basic acrylic paint. Um, yeah. I'm wearing gloves because I broke all my nails. Well, no, I didn't break them all. I broke three and then clipped off the rest. So I don't want to get any guff for not having nice manicures. Yeah. Once I get done with the black parts, then I put another layer of uh, a workable fixative over the acrylic paint. That way it locks it in and I don't have to worry about any mistakes that I make on the next layer because I do make mistakes every day, all the time. And then after that, I do the um, white polka dots. And you'll see me start out with a paintbrush and then I got smart and used a uh, embossing tool. So yeah. Work smarter, not harder. And of course, I do come back in with the brush for, you know, the bigger white spots and all of that. You know, just have a variety of tools. And then after I finish with the spots, I do another spritz of the uh, workable fixative to uh, set all the spots in place. Okay, now that a painting's all done, that was the easy part out of the way. So we're gonna move on to the most difficult and frustrating part of it all, the assembly. So I'm gonna spend a ridiculous amount of time, most of it will not be on video, um, drill, taking this teeny tiny little drill bit that's too small for any drill things that I have, and I'm going to drill a ton of tiny little holes and channels and these tiny little bug parts. I'm going to get super frustrated part way through and take off my gloves because I can't hold on to anything. And you get to experience all of that joy in a matter of seconds rather than the hours and hours I spent. You can thank the wonders of modern technology for that. So I had to put my gloves back on so I don't super glue everything to my fingers again. And um, at this point I had got all the legs on and you can see that they're working beautifully as I manipulate them around. <laughs> it looks like it's doing little jumping jacks. And one and two and one and two. They're all moving freely. Nobody's bound up or nothing wound up getting super glued together inside. Yay! I'm getting really excited at this point. This is always one of my favorite parts because it's starting to all come together. So here is where things start to go south. I made a bad decision and it caused me a lot of frustration. So I'm going to share that with you. Um, 
I had this brilliant idea of coating the legs, proboscis, and antenna in black silicone. Because I thought, okay, it'll be bendy, I'll be able to manipulate and bend pieces over and over again, it'll be black, and ideally it'll stay shiny, right? If it cures right. Um, well, that didn't work. It, uh, it just kind of peeled off of the copper, even though I had prepped it using steel wool and primer paint. And uh, it just ended up peeling off. So that was a disappointment. But it didn't peel off e evenly either. So like some parts were like stuck really hard and were kind of a pain to get off. Which was unfortunate because I already had the legs coated and all glued in place and I couldn't really pull them off. So that was... There were... There were... There was a little bit of panic. There for a few minutes. You can see me all through here like meticulously coating these little pieces and parts making sure it's all even and beautiful but no just just wasn't meant to be I usually will let Elliot sit on my lap if I'm doing something that's not toxic and uh, <laughs> sometimes she she likes to be a little more involved <laughs> she's a fuzzy kid look it looks like a bug oh it's so cute So I go next right into painting polka dots on the body, which was another silly, silly waste of time. And then furring the body, which again, I wasted a huge amount of time <laughs> in trying to um, create the pattern with the fur itself, like I did on the tiger swallowtail with all the lines. and. Um, Instead, what I ended up having to do later, and what I should have done to start, is just paint it. I should have just done black fur and then come back with the metallic white acrylic paint that I had to use anyway, and put in the dots and the lines where they needed to be. It, I had to do it anyway. Why, didn't, why did I make things harder on myself? This is a pattern in my life. I make projects more difficult. So story time about my computer. Turns out it does not like the editing software for the video. 
since I have to do it all myself, I have to do it on my computer. And uh, it decided to crash because I apparently didn't have enough DRAM, I think is the word. So I had to spend days researching all about memory and RAM and motherboards and then compatibilities of ancient machinery with new parts because the old ones are ridiculous. So anyway, long and short of it is I wound up um, figuring out what I needed, getting the parts and getting it all installed today. And so yay, I have a working computer again. Hooray. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what happened. Sorry I was gone for so long. <laughs> and thanks for your patience. And BAM! Look at that glossy, luxurious mane covering her entire body. And now that we've spent all that time putting hair all over, we're going to cut most of it off. <laughs> Okay, so some of the white markings that I put in with just the fur did turn out pretty decent now that I'm watching it back. And I don't hate it. It just took so much extra time and I had to go back and paint anyway. So it feels like it was a waste. I, I do, I do feel like it was a waste. Definitely feel like it was a waste. But the lines on the butt look pretty good. Okay, haircut's done, touch-up painting's done. It's, I guess, done. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the legs move. Oh, yes, look at that. So satisfying. So fuzzy. So shiny. So dotty. Oh, bam, so blue. <laughs> That's it, everybody. She's done. All that work is worth it. I think she came out beautiful. I'm so glad you guys were here to join me. And thanks again for putting up with the delay in the in the uploads. Um, hopefully I got all my computer problems fixed. And when I'm out of town, I'll have Wi-Fi. Yay! I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!